I thought about it and I came up with a solution to the rage quit problem that makes it 100% foolproof. I am not a programmer, there will be a programmer, but this is how you saw the solution. Step one, whenever anybody rage quits, we need to make sure that whenever they rage quit, it's intentional. So whenever anybody rage quits one time, it could be like something happening of a natural event or disaster. Your Wi-Fi goes out randomly for some reason. And like I said, an accident around your area. If it rage quits on someone else one time, then no penalty. However, if they rage quit again, and this time within a half hour time frame, let's just say, then it's intentional. And therefore, you lose points based on that. Very simple. That's the basic concept of what I'm trying to say. So, long form, it's if someone is doing a rage quit uh, and it's accidental, there's no penalty. Two times in a row, within a certain amount of time, it could be half hour or an hour, then they get a penalty based on that one. Because sometimes the Wi-Fi goes out because of like random things that happen inside of a building, or you know, you know, you never really know. Sometimes like the wind could be blowing something and the Wi-Fi goes out or something like that. It's you never really know sometimes with the, with the Wi-Fi. If someone's playing on Wi-Fi and they're, they have a very low ping, if you will, for other people, and it keeps them disconnecting with other people there, they should incur a, 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 incur a penalty. So if the game recognized that that particular IP address keeps on rage quitting on people like, you know, two times in a row or, or three times or whatever you want to do in a row there, then that particular account there will lose points. If you're playing a fighting game, like for example, or, you know, whatever, an MMO game, right? And you're getting five points per victory. The, um, five points per victory on so, of someone of, of uh, your level. If you go above your level, maybe 10 points, something like that, and you win. So if you are recognized as a rage quitter on the second attempt within a half hour, that means it's a pattern you're doing intentionally, you didn't learn your lesson, that kind of stuff, then you lose quadruple the points because you didn't learn your lesson. So that's what I would do. You make it so people that rage quit within a certain amount of time, they get penalized by that. Don't kick them out or whatever, make them still play the game, but make it so people know that they don't have any points, which means they're likely to rage quit. I believe there was something in Street Fighter 4 that if your points were really low, people would see how low your points were and know you're kind of like a rage quitter. And also, why not? Why not? Why not? On top of that one, um, put rage um, a uh, rage quit jail or something like that, or rage quitter like like RQ or something like that. There, flashing like above their name. Like, if, if they do, if they just come back from a rage quit, if they just come back from losing their points, put, like, something flashing, like, above their name, per se, you know, that's not flashing, but, like, bubbling or pulsing or whatever above their name, letting both players know that they're a rage quitter. So, like, it should be known that they're a rage quitter um, because they didn't learn the lesson properly. So, um, you get, uh, the first time it happens, no penalty. Second time it happens, go triple the points because you didn't learn your lesson. So you fix your, fix, fix your stuff and stop rage quitting. Simple. Get good. Clack off.